You got your first gun. Oh, a silenced pistol. That doesn't have concerning implications at all. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. This is what an actual president looks like four years ago. <laughs> and that's not what they look like four years ago. That's me making a pointed comment about four years ago. <laughs> Look at the statue on his desk. It's a griffin. <laughs> also, I'm assuming that's the space elevator that the US had made. I do declare griffins. I didn't see anything floating out there, though. Unless it's above me. Unless that's what I'm in. I guess it could be what I'm in. That's the only kind of thing that make. Am I blind? Where did Earth go? Oh, maybe it, maybe it's a draw distance thing. Oh wait, no. I, th I think the whole space station rotates, but the moon is still. Yeah, there. the moon's still in the same position. Maybe it's because it's like floating above the the moon, and I'm technically looking down at it. Hmm. But yeah, the, the, I must be inside the thing in, on that picture. Uh, is there a way that I can get up? Oh, yeah. Uh, do you mind putting the volume up slightly? Oh, yeah. And don't forget your glue gun. Yeah, I know. I was just seeing if there's a way I can... What? What is happening? <laughs> and suddenly I, like, just completely lost all control. <laughs> okay, so I noticed there was a history thing in here. Okay, so there's a mimic somewhere over there. He'll attack me at some point. <laughs> it's fine. He'll find his way. Okay. So, 1963. A top-secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos-1. 1964. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next-generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. So remember when I made the joke that is like, so what is this, an alternate reality where JFK didn't get assassinated? And you said no, but very technically, well, it is. You said as a result of him not oh, being yeah. assassinated. But so so, I, it could be the implication that this was always true, but because JFK was assassinated, things did not continue. Mm. Attempted assassination, 1980 to 1994. Geopolitical developments. What is with us talking about JFK and like the Axiom. presidents lately? The unfortunate Pope I don't know. Just the other day, we had our whole little diatribe about lives, how we don't know anything about presidents <laughs> except for the one that had big balls. Yeah. <laughs> Which succeeded Kennedy. <laughs> yeah, I think he's the one that succeeded Kennedy. Lyndon B. Johnson's the one with the big balls, I'm pretty sure. It also could be Gerald Ford, but I know one of them was. Possibly the one after JFK. <laughs> 2030. Talos 1 becomes... Yeah, so I must be on Talos 1. Yes. a monument yeah. of private space industry. The first Neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. I wish. I know some people talk about... That's one one of the reasons I really want to play Deus Ex is because it has that whole argument about like cybernetics versus genetic enhancement and all yeah. that kind of stuff. And I think that shit is totally cool. I know some people are kind of purist in a sense where they're like, I don't want to be augmented, but I think I don't think I would recreationally augment, but if I was in like an accident and lost my arm and I could get a robot arm, I would do it. See, but I'm not necessarily talking about robotics, I'm talking about even um, like, like genetic enhancement. Mm. I would totally be down for that shit. Why the fuck not? <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking kind of the same thing. <laughs> like Mondays. <laughs> 
If I'm ever, I've ever, fallen and I can't get up. If I'm ever in a position where I'm going to die and I know I'm going to die, and I know someone's going to find my body like frozen in ice or something like that, I would strike a hilarious. <laughs> like the Pompeii zombie. Like the Pompeii guy. Yeah, the, <laughs> I'm going to nut yeah. one out real quick. I heard something. Sneaky sneaking, I am sneaking. Now that right there's a gun. There's two guns. Hey, that. Can I. How do I. Nice zoom. Oh, wait, there we go. Yeah, he's not fucked up. So he must have killed himself. Or somebody killed him. See, that's the kind of thing where, like, absolutely you could find that out by reading the right emails and shit. Mm -hmm. It isn't pertinent to your adventure, but I think it's cool that they, like, crafted this whole scenario. Mm hmm There's a- there's a few uh, instances- of, there's quite a few instances of that in Dishonored as well. It's not quite uh, as on the nose, but it's definitely there. Ooh, okay. I need to remember I have that keycard. All oh, right. I'm going to need more support. The volunteers are agitated more than usual. This morning, Eleven threatened to bash my head in if I didn't let him out to stretch his legs. When you get up here, the key code is 5687, not the old number on file. I'm pretty sure they've been watching me punch that in, so I've changed it. Officer John Haskins. So, that might be the key code for the other side that I couldn't put in? Maybe. 5687? Yeah. Or maybe there's just one in this area. <laughs> I did- I did that all the time last time, too, I'm mm. pretty sure. Okay, thank you, Bia Bianca- no, 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 no. Right, that's how I do that. Bianca Goodwin from Dio Igui, meeting Gustav. Dr. Igui, I relayed your previous request and we'll see what we can do, but there are no guarantees. The schedule for the visit is tight and may not allow for face-to-face. -face. I'll let you know when I have more details. Sincerely, Bianca. Hellos one volunteer and guest liaison. Miss Goodwin, to follow up on the previous request, I was wondering if there had been any updates on Gustav Liegner's visit. Is it still taking place? And if so, would it be possible to get a copy of his itinerary? I would love a chance to meet him before the neuromapping procedure, if possible. I thought I was the only one doing this, like, neuro... mod... stuff. No, neuromods are, like, a thing. But so then what was the one that I was doing? Because it seemed like mine was very specific. Um, Did they call it something different or have they uh, uh, talked about that at all yet? No. Okay. It's They've talked about the, the fact that when you remove a neuromod, your brain resets to the point it had before the neuromod was installed. Oh, okay. And so you have been doing that. Been doing this for years. Yeah. Lightner's visit. Yeah, Igwe showed up... Uh, Quite, uh, quite impolite. He shook Leitner's hand like he was afraid of breaking him. He asked him to sign an album he'd brought. Leitner seemed flattered, so that was a plus. Tried to make him comfortable. His condition hasn't stopped him from craving a cigarette. His uh, fingers were twitching. It's too bad. Such a talent. No one, no wonder he wanted to get scanned. Interesting. I'm kind of curious whether or not. Uh... Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I heard... I'm not sure if that's just, like... That's the you discovered an area noise. Oh. You you walked pixel perfect far enough that the game was like, You're in the offices now. Oh, okay. So those things have been mentioning that they scan. Yes. Do I get items later on that scan as well? Like, that indicate that, oh, there are mimics here. There's... And, and there is Maybe. a... There is a gross here. Did something come up behind me? Yep, it shot and killed Scanning him. Target, no alien material detected. I wonder if that's scripted. Because <laughs> that just... That was a little too convenient. <laughs> Fuck your date! OMG hot boss. Really? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> well, he thought you were hot. <laughs> no, he thinks he's hot. Jason, main screwed the keypad to my office. Had them set... Set to 0451. Oh, 
be in the sim lab, so if you need it's a while, so if you need anything, help yourself. Oh, hey, that's me. Yep. If you look up to the right, uh, like off the computer, that's your office. But when was this email? God, I wish there was dates. Because if I've been doing this for years and I've been losing my memory constantly, like, well, the theoretically, if you put the same neuromods back oh, in, you get your are they back. saying that I'm like taking the neuromod out and it's basically like move, removing a hard drive of memory? Yeah. Okay, I thought it was like. It was causing like neurological damage. No. And I was like, it's really interesting that they're doing this for a year to somebody or years. Uh is your four five one. Okay, good. I don't gotta remember the five, six, eight, seven. I was trying real hard to remember it. I forgot the game just kept it for you. I might Is this like Bioshock and all the other games where, like, even if this does move the story along, it doesn't kind of put me where I can't go back. There might be one or two incidents like that, but no. That's not typically an issue? No, even okay. if there's an area where it's like, you can't go back here, Morgan, eventually you will be able to. Okay, because that's the... One second. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. Now I get the hot boss thing because he thought his boss was hot. Yeah. I wonder if I was a dude if it was still the same. Uh, I don't remember. I played as a dude before. There's already one specific thing I, that's different. Robert? Allison, thank God. No one else is... Where are you? Hiding. I'm in the conference room. I, I can't... Jesus. Oh. You're still in the that's lab? That's probably the dude. I can't get out. There's... What the hell? I wonder if Robert Gage is the one. Actually, I think what's happening, but Robert, Robert Gage is either the dude there. I was looking through in the elevators. glass Someone that looked like he was dead, but not Robert? big suck. Hang Otherwise, on. someone's coming. <laughs> Otherwise, Robert Gage was somebody in the early area because I do remember seeing that name before. All right, tell me about myself. Recycler. Oh, so this is for the crafting? Yeah. Your office is like your, for now, it's like your hub. You will encounter like recyclers and things throughout the space station, but this is like, you come back here all the time, so. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Can I recycle this? I can't remember. Oh, no, I have to actually put items in. Okay, too far too fast. First excerpt from commercialization of the space program, J.V. Edwards, Ph.D. In Kennedy's second term, the space race reached new heights and without his support may have sputtered completely. See? <laughs> <laughs> A succession of moon launches heralded the coming of an accelerated energetic space program, both within the halls of government and in the public eye. Unusual at the time, especially in contrast to Kennedy's first term, Rather than simply being a race between two powers, the Soviet and United States seem to be reaching out to space together. To be fair, that is a very interesting kind of discussion to be had because, mm -hmm. like, one of the things that stifles our progression so much is... Superpowers not being willing to work. That together. and also, like, competition at the expense of each other. It's oftentimes, like, not... Am I supposed to... Is that supposed to be me on the right? Yep. Yeah. Man, I do not have a pretty face. But you're- oh my god, boss hot. I know, but like, I got some fucking serious, like- Maybe you got a great ass. Must- must be. <laughs> oh. Oh, your inventory's full. Do I have a storage system? No, but theoretically you've got a fuck ton of junk already you could throw in the recycler. How do I know if something is- oh. I'm assuming that's junk. Yes. So what'll happen, I think if I remember correctly, you can literally just throw like electronics and apples in and it'll give you organic and inorganic crafting material. Okay. Do Now, do I need to keep any of this kind of stuff? If it's like a simple piece of organic matter in a Petri dish, I wouldn't keep it. Okay. Like a big bag of candy. Oh, you know what it is? What? Some of them are green, some of them are gray. Gray is completely oh, useless. I can't actually see that very well from this angle. 
That's gray. That's gray. That's gray. Is that one gray? Yes. Okay. Let's fabricate that. Are these ones gray? Yep. And then the two blow your gun. Yeah, those two. Oh, not that one. Yeah. So if they're green, they have some form of use, but I'm pretty sure you can still recycle them if you wanted. But. And now I exit this? I guess so, yeah. There it goes. That's cute. And that's your crafting materials. Okay, I put some of these in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I threw one of the blue, yeah, one of these full blocks mm -hmm. in there. Uh, I'm going to quickly do a thing because I can't see the color differential there for some reason. Uh, go to advanced settings, maybe. Oh, yeah, you can turn up the brightness. Until the darkest symbol is barely visible. Oh. Oh, I couldn't even see the darkest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's just probably the TV, the settings on the TV. Yeah. I apologize if on the recording it's really bright. If it is, we'll I can change that. We'll adjust it after the fact. <laughs> oh, oh my no! god. <laughs> I didn't even see the med kit on here. I was like standing right here. Oh my god. It's almost too bright for certain things. Like, this is a little bit bright now, but everything else, like, I can actually see. I'll probably turn it down a little bit. You turned it up to five. You could turn it to three. Yeah. Operator dispenser. I'm assuming it'll explain what that is later. Fabricator. Um, I assume I need... Craft, uh... Each item consumes that. Do I get crafting recipes later? Yes. I'm pretty sure once you have an item, you get the ability to craft. Ah. So, like, for example, when you get that pistol you saw on the floor, you'll get the ability to craft bullets. Okay. Holy shit. The, the cabinet I thought was red is apparently orange. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is very different. How do I open it? Um, I think that opens at a moment. Okay. At a story moment. Uh, do I make myself small at certain points, or is this just so mimics can fuck with me? Uh, I'm okay. gonna answer that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Scanning target, no type of material detected. Typhon material. They keep referencing the Typhon are like the mimics and the yeah. phantoms. They're Typhon. Yeah. But the fact that they're calling it something like that, like, would imply to me like that it's it's not viewed as like I, I don't really know how to describe it. Who is this? Be it known, successful completion of the. Oh, their name isn't on there. <laughs> the brain was once considered too warm, wet, and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum coherence in biological processes such as plant photosynthesis, avian navigation, and our own smell paved the way for the eventual discovery of quantum vibration inside the microtubules of neurons. Really? By our own sense of smell? Like, one of the worst senses of smell on the planet? Yeah, Good I'm going to adjust that. <laughs> I was going to say, I can't even read it. <laughs> yeah. uh, video brightness. Yeah, we'll do... We'll try four. Sylvain, I'm trusting you with my brain. You do good work. Oh, this is from me. So hopefully that continues... Smiley face. That is that a winky face? Yes, it is. I am a fucking business professional. That is not acceptable in a professional email. Maybe you're fucking him. <laughs> I don't care. This is a fucking work email. <laughs> uh, listen, if the test goes well, if something happens, let Alex know that I, I know it wasn't his fault. I signed up for this. Also, if the test drag on, considering moving your office down to Sim, less hassle, and you can always move back after we celebrate our success. Interesting. Uh, Sylvain was the dude that got attacked by his coffee, right? Yep. Yeah, that was Dr. Bellamy. Yeah. 
There's a note on his desk. It might have a code on it. Please move the remaining boxes in to the Neuromod division as soon as feasible. Never mind. The nature of consciousness remains deeply mysterious. How can the subjective nature of experience, my inner life, be explained in scientific terms? Does consciousness mer emerge from complex computations among brain neurons, or is it a fundamental and irreducible property woven into the fabric <coughs> of the universe? <laughs> the perfect music for that. <laughs> Fuck you, speaker. I need to turn that off. All right, I want to get in there. Yeah, that kind of looked like the dude in the thing. Yeah. What if you look at the keypad? Do you have it now? Uh, this one. No. Uh, the keycard I key card I got. I got one for trauma, and then I got mine. It's weird to think that as Morgan, you, I wouldn't have access to that. <laughs> The room literally across the hall. Oh, there we go. Trauma center. You look like a chick that enjoys some glue. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Please swipe your tracking bracelet to recall your reservation. In the trauma center? Hello, named phantom. <laughs> I'm glad you noticed that. Hello, question mark. Maybe this is not a good place for me to be right now. I will say if you continue with the plot, you'll get a gun pretty quick. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go elsewhere. <laughs> this feels like trying to fight slicers with just the fucking wrench. Oh, I guess you wouldn't know that reference. Slicers are the... You wanna go up to your office. Oh, did I not finish in my office? I think you had to look at your computer. Oh, right. I meant to and I completely forgot. <laughs> um... Slicers are the, uh, the, the weird bunny-eared mask people from Bioshock. Oh. With the, like, sickles and shit like that. They're the people that, like, have done the genetic modification stuff without it working out super well. How do I remember my password? You found a thing with it on it. Okay. Good morning, Morgan. I got the plan you requested. It's in your safe. Uh, I remember I picked up the shit from my safe, but I don't remember what it was. Cold Mountain Green Tea. <laughs> huh. Anyways. You made it. EOM from January. Cool. Damn. <laughs> uh, one of these days that won't you good. can't actually like, break the computer. Michaela Illusion. I still don't know what happened. I've put it behind me, but there's no reason we can't be civil. You passed me in the hall today, and you looked through me. If you're angry at something I did, tell me, and we could talk about it. Pretending you don't even know who I am isn't going to help. We have to work together. Mika. I might be insane, so... <laughs> As requested, your terminal logs are set to be automatically forwarded to your suite and crew quarters, and the supplies from hardware sent up. Let me know if they get to you alright, and if not, I'll get it resolved. Like last week, I'll make sure you aren't disturbed in the interim. Let me know if there's anything else I can do, I'll hold down the fort outside your office. Why is there another... Oh, teleconferencing. <laughs> Neuromod. I should use some of these. Uh, Neuromod. Security. What are my options? Increases damage and accuracy. That's probably really useful. That's also really useful. Okay. 
Didn't I have a repair option? Yeah, we're gonna do one of those. Interstate of combat focus. Is that automatic or do I have to activate it? I think you have to activate it. Ooh, I like that. I don't know what chipsets are, but I like the idea of more inventory space. More inventory space is always good. <laughs> yeah. Let's sort this shit out. Student integrity is okay for now. Okay. So I think... Was there... Oh, there was something else for me to do in here. Uh, you have to click back. Yep. It's LGV file. Should clear things up. Make sure you're alone when you hit play. I don't want to see your weird sex tape. <laughs> it's Alex doing like a strip tease. Turn around. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hell yeah, I love this movie. Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Your memory's shot full of holes, I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process that brings you back up to speed between tests. I'm gonna rates. kill this bitch. <laughs> Someone could just skip that part. Turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. Of course. videos. Sorry, but I can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. When in doubt, break through the TV. <laughs> Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. Just to double check, I'm locked in here, I aren't I? you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the yep. hardware labs. He invented the looking glass technology. I should have went back and got the guns and shit while I had the opportunity. Have. That's okay, I'll probably to help you in the get around pretty soon. Good luck. <coughs> Alright. So who do you trust, your past self or your brother? Uh, the computer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no matching keycard, huh? Can I blow the door up? I don't think so, but... Okay. Can I open this? What is this? Oh, it's like a like a garbage thing. chute. Yeah. Wait, can I? Oh, I guess maybe. Weird. Okay, I thought I had to like. I thought I was locked in the room and I had to get around. But I guess I was just. You absolutely go through that path later. Okay.
Can you get in that room now? Yeah, I have a key. Take advantage of your environment and tools in combat. You don't have to fight every enemy head on. Use alternate routes to seek past tough enemies or get the drop on them. If you intend to fight, disabling enemies with tools like the glue cannon can increase your odds of surviving. There we go. Come this way. Come and get me, boys. Oh, I guess it can't really hit them with the... <laughs> that looks like you had multiple hands. Yeah. Just yeah, Dragon Ball Z punched it. There's one more in here. Oh, I was hoping you'd grab it. Does it change when you pick it up? No, there, you know, there was two pistols. Yeah. There was one by his hand and the one over there. I was hoping you'd pick up the... Oh, but I mean, like, if it's a pick up item, does it, when you pick it up, does it, like, change in your hand? Yeah. Attack you? Okay. Well, yeah, because I remember when I looked around, I was like, oh, there's, like, two guns. You got your first gun. Oh, a silenced pistol. That doesn't have concerning implications at all. <laughs> We'll see if Jordan can use his silenced pistol next time. I am the conference table. 